Hi Fight Fans! In this video, I want to ask the question, why does Connor always delete his posts on his social media? This question haunts me. Simply, I want to finally understand why he does it. For example, Connor's last altercation on Twitter with Masvidal. Let's quickly get through what happened between them. UFC welterweight Jorge Masvidal is open to the possibility of a fight with former UFC dual division champion Conor McGregor, but questions the likelihood that the Irishman would agree. He's fake. He knows that I am a man who hits hard and that I will kill. I don't go out to the cage to cuddle. I will do everything in my power to kill him. I'm not big myself, and now he's on steroids and everything, but he's still a little boy. I would love to fight while weighing 170 pounds, but I'm not waiting for anyone. If he wants to do it, I will smash his face. If he doesn't want to do it, let someone else be next," Masvidal said. Conor McGregor reacted to the words of Jorge Masvidal, who the day before promised to break the face of the Irishman in battle. McGregor responded harshly to Masvidal, and then, as he always does, deleted the message. This guy has absolute pigeon brains. He's incredibly dumb, McGregor wrote on Twitter, but then deleted the post as usual. It doesn't give me peace. Why does he always do this? If you remember, he deleted all his messages that he replied to everyone on Twitter or other social networks. Comment, what do you think? Why does he do it? Maybe somebody has an opinion on this. They say that when he is stoned, he answers everyone so harshly, and when he sobers up, he will come out of his stupidity and delete messages. Please, do not be lazy and comment your thoughts about it. I really want an answer on this. Is this some kind of game, or does he really do that when he's really stoned? Masvidal talks about his comeback and reveals when he will fight for the title again. He admitted that he does not yet know when and with whom he will fight the next fight. This year I will definitely be back. I do not yet know the date and the name of the opponent, but I have no doubt that after two victories, I will be able to claim the title again. There are several options, but the first thing that matters is myself. I have to be in the best shape of my life and improve some things in my work. Everyone knows that I can punch, kick, and knee. People know that I can't be beaten in this direction, but there are still points that need to be worked on before returning to the cage," Masvidal said in an interview with ESPN. George Masvidal. George Masvidal's calling out McGregor. If we don't make that fight, I, I don't know what I don't understand about this business, but there's something I don't get. And it's probably something I'll never know. Like it probably specifically has to do with contracts. George's contract is so goddamn, and Connor's contract is so goddamn much that no matter how massive that fight, I mean, it's probably something like that. Why are we not making that fight? Masvidal is called out. Masvidal wants to fight him. Do you have any idea of the business that you would do with that fight? That is the, the biggest star in the history of our sport. Not just the biggest star in the sport. It's the biggest star in the history of our sport versus the current second biggest draw in our sport. The entire reason that Conor McGregor bumped up and flirted with 170 pounds is because an off-the-cuff comment that Dana White made as he was walking into a restaurant in Beverly Hills and somebody jumped out in front of him with a camera who happened to work for TMZ. And the person said, would you ever book McGregor versus Masvidal? Now, that person wasn't helping with promotion in all fairness. That person did not know our sport. They recognized Dana and they threw out two names that they could think of. And the reason that Dana did this, instead of putting the guy's pants on and telling for at the time, at the time that this was that, that was the dumbest thing you could have possibly asked. Masvidal, who is 37 years old, last fought in March 2022 at UFC 272, losing to Colby Covington by unanimous decision. He has 35 wins and 16 losses. Do you think that Masvidal versus Connor has a chance to take place? Who would win this fight if so? Does Masvidal have a chance to beat Connor or vice versa? Oh, I want to ask the question, why does Connor always delete his posts on his social media? Comment your thoughts. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe as it helps our channel grow.